I can still hear his cry. What a beautiful, reassuring sound. When I held him in my arms, I felt a love inexpressible, a joy unimaginable bursting inside me. My body pulsed with this radiant, protective instinct. My precious gift, I whispered to him, I'll do anything to keep you safe. I'll wrestle a lion. I'll grab a snake and hurl it away. I'll take on an army for you because I love you. I didn't know then how that instinct would be tried. How when someone handed him a brutal cross to carry, I couldn't carry it for him. How when they were shredding his back with shards of bone, I couldn't take his place. I thank God for that stable, that provision, but it also was a picture of how the world is, a hard, broken, exposed place full of betrayal and ridicule. He called the paralytic forgiven, and they called him a blasphemer. He called the mourners comforted, and they called him a mockery. He called the possessed man set free, and they called him offensive. He called the Gentiles accepted, and they called him rejected, for they did not see what they had while they had him. He befriended the sinners, the ostracized and the friendless. He sought out the needy and the numb and the self-righteous and the lowly. And in the end, he was betrayed by them. My tender babe was killed for them. Many names have called him an affection. Many I wish I could unhear because they're untrue. But many to learn as I know him now. Emmanuel. He is God with us. But for a short time, he was first with me, forming in my womb. The arms that have been nailed to this tree, the feet that have been nailed to this cross, his body broken. These all began as tiny parts of him growing in me. My heart is broken, for I bore him, but he now bears our sin. I wrapped you in swaddling clothes and laid you in a wooden manger and now you hang on a wooden cross, my sweet boy. I've lost you. Emmanuel, God with us, now gone from us. 